this is my experience uh, with my COVID-19 vaccination. So I'm already vaccinated because I, uh, I'm part of the NUS uh, School of Medicine, Yong Luling School of Medicine. Okay, so I did a quick survey and among Filipinos who are living uh, here in Singapore, and they say uh, one of the most important uh, issue in their life, of course, is health. Okay, so kalusugan. Okay, so it's uh, quite one of the top priority. Okay, so more than 80% say this is the number one uh, priority in their life. Okay. Okay, so in terms of overseas uh, Filipino, there's about 12 million overseas Filipino. And where can we find them? They are in the US, they are in Singapore, they are in Saudi Arabia, they are in uh, UAE or like Dubai or Abu Dhabi, right? Or Malaysia, Canada, so everywhere. All the Filipinos can be found everywhere, okay? So what sectors are they working? Uh, healthcare, nursing aid, uh, working as a caregiver, as a technician, as an engineer, as teachers, as uh, doctors, as uh, sailors, right? So these are the uh, profession of overseas Filipino. Okay, so at this point, I just want to share uh, these two pictures of my uh, first dose when I had my COVID-19 uh, vaccination, um, and then uh, my second dose uh, was uh, done last month. So I'm already uh, fully vaccinated. Okay, so um, I think as a um, good citizen, I think we could contribute in uh, fighting this uh, pandemic, okay, by, uh, of course, uh, our minimum health standards, uh, wearing masks, okay, social or physical distancing, and um, hand washing. Okay, but on top of that, now we have a new uh, weapon against this pandemic is vaccination. Okay, so in Singapore, uh, they have two uh, sort of brands that are already approved and that's Pfizer and Moderna. Okay, so this is me uh, working in the uh, COVID swab. Uh, maybe some of you know some uh, friends who are working or living in the dormitories. So I went there also last year and I did the swab. Ito yung uh, nilalagay sa ilong or sa bibig para ma-check kung uh, may COVID-19 ka. Okay? So uh, it's not very convenient because you are uh, fully covered by PPE. Right? So hopefully in our program here, we can share, uh, we can teach you how to wear gloves properly, gown properly, how to wear your mask properly. Okay, uh, and even face shield, how to wear a face shield properly, okay? So, you know, the effect of COVID-19, there's a lot of people uh, over, um, how many people have died? Okay, I lost count, okay? So, uh, over 119 people uh, have been infected since last year, and I think 2.65 million, okay, have already died of COVID-19, right? So, we need to contribute uh, uh, in stopping this pandemic by number one, of course, being safe, okay, and as, uh, making sure that we employ the minimum health standard. And if we are given the chance for vaccination, hopefully we take it. Okay, so I don't know, uh, some of you are probably born in the 1980s, if you know this band called uh, Berlin, and uh, their one of their famous songs is You Take My Breath Away, right? So, um, if you are a fan of Tom Cruise, like Top Gun, that's one of the, the, I think that's the theme song of that movie. Okay, if you don't know, it's okay, maybe you're too young. Okay, but uh, those who are 1980s baby, 78, you would know this uh, movie called Top Gun. Okay, but uh, COVID-19, uh, literally uh, take your breath away, especially for uh, some of our patients. Uh, they they died or they perished because of COVID-19. So we have to uh, make our own a responsible move uh, to consider, okay, of course, uh, bearing any um, uh, like issue, okay? Like if you have a sort of allergy, then you need to consult your doctor if you are 
you can be given uh, medication. But for most of us, I think we are qualified to get vaccination. Okay, so I just want to uh, share this, that there are already a lot of Filipino healthcare workers worldwide, many in the US, in the UK, um, of course, in the Philippines have died because of COVID-19, right? So one way as a caregiver we can help is that we become part of the solution. We become part of the herd immunity okay, by being vaccinated. Okay, uh, probably you've seen it in the news. This is not fake news. These are all validated news. I don't get uh, my information on uh, on Facebook alone, right? Of course, uh, 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 Facebook, Twitter, you can be source of uh, correct information, but so many misinformation online. So you have to get your source of information on a proper source. Okay, uh, Straight Times is quite reliable. Here, uh, they reported about Filipino immigrant nurses paying heavy price for COVID-19 pandemic because uh, in NUH, in other hospitals in Singapore, many Filipino nurses are working as part of the healthcare system, right? So naturally, uh, some of them uh, have worked so much hard. They're like the rest of the hospital team, right? Everybody was on high alert uh, because of the uh, because of the pandemic. Okay, so luckily uh, in Singapore, okay, at least the healthcare workers are quite protected. Okay, and if you see it in the U.S. or U.K., many of uh, our healthcare workers have been uh, sort of a victim of uh, COVID-19. And some of them, um, of course, got the infection, but unfortunately, some of them also died of uh, COVID-19. Okay, so I'm almost at, at the end. Okay, so I just want to share, like for us in NUS uh, School of Medicine, uh, more than 64% of the staff uh, went for vaccination. Uh, this number is uh, as of uh, 23 Feb. So now the number has gone up. This is not uh, mandator mandatory. This is uh, voluntary. So even if it's voluntary, the numbers are very high. So it went up already, right? And uh, for our students, 71% uh, got vaccinated. These are medical students, nursing students who went for their vaccination, right? So, and you can see on the right, uh, sort of an uh, comics, on the right side, uh, encouraging everyone to go for their uh, second dose, okay? So if you first get, got the first dose, you have to get the second dose, okay? If you're talking, uh, for example, for Pfizer and Moderna, they, are, they come in two doses, but the uh, other vaccine uh, only comes in one dose. Okay, so again, uh, thank you uh, very much. Let's keep uh, our country, and of course our host country, Singapore, safe by considering getting vaccinated. Thank you very much and have a good evening to everyone.